Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I'm working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In today's demo, we are going to talk about Hugging Face, which is the AI community building the future. So Hugging Face is a company that creates tool for machine learning. They started in 2016 as a chatbot startup, but later they focused on NLP. They are best known for their open source libraries that help developer with tasks like understanding and creating text. So why Hugging Face, right? While we do development of ML related application or project, then you have to either use any pre-existing model or either you have to train and test that model, right? In that scenario, you have to write a lot of codes, right? In that process, this transformer library and diffuser help a lot. And because this has wide community support, you can have a lot of support for any use cases and you can find easy for your development. If you wanted to use any pre-existing trained model, right? Then you can go for this model hub on a hugging face, try to find a lot of existing models which may help into your use case and you can fine tune that one. So you, we can easily discover and use that models, right? The other piece that easy to use API is provided by, and they can so they supports that libraries and other things in different popular frameworks such as PyTorch and TensorFlow. And they have a great active community for machine learning projects and NLP related projects so that you can collaborate with researcher and industry professional and ask your questions. And also you can attend um, regular meetups and online events and clarify your doubts. So that's why Hugging Face we should be using. So let's talk a little bit about Hugging Face ecosystem. As we talked, they have transformer libraries which have over 100k start on GitHub and one of the popular libraries for NLP and vision and speech models, right? Whenever we do any machine learning project, one of the key feature that you need is data for either training purpose or testing purpose. And they have a use data sets libraries and we can go and find the data and use that one very easily. Previously there was a problem, who has the data, then they can train or not. Then you have to scrub a lot of data, you have to gather a lot of data and this makes this data library makes that process easier. Then if you are dealing with NLP related uh, projects, then you need to do tokenization and other things. They also provide that library so that it will be easy for tokenization. Once we are done with this development, we might need to and want to show this uh, to different collaborators or any other teams or company, right? This demo. So we can host on this. Uh, Hugging face ecosystem and show the demo. That makes that okay. We do not need to go into cloud provider and, and the sign up and other things. So we can do from here also. If you wanted to use any hosted models without full environment supports, then we can use hosted inference API and do our things which are required for demo and testing purpose. There are tons of popular use cases, but few of them are. We can use for text classification if we are doing any project or anything on the sentiment analysis, the spam detection, we can use either pre-trained models or data sets and this type of libraries and do that one. Question answering, language translation, summarization, text generation, computer vision. These are the few popular use cases where we can use Hugging Face ecosystem and make our life easy while development and other things. For any Python library, simple to use. You can pip and install that um, library with library name and you can use into your code. So that's pretty easy. And this is very standard driven by um, all the teams and Hugging Face also provides a great documentation around that one. And also after this slide, we are going to see that one, how we can find the models and how we can find the data sets. We will see that how documentation looks like for Hugging Face. So let's get started and go to Hugging Face portal. So once we are into Hugging Face portal, we can see that the big line for that, that AI community building the future, the platform where machine learning community collaborates on model data sets and application. 
we can also see that what is trending on this week and that gives insight that what are the models is being used by open source community and what are the data set is widely used right now. If we go into top, there are these tabs and menu around that one. So very first thing that we have models, right? So if we go to models, we can see based on that, either if you wanted to filter based on task, if you wanted to build any image to text to text uh, thing, then you can find all the model related to that one. If you wanted to do some natural language uh, classification, like test classification, then you can go and select that one. You should be able to see all model related to that. If you wanted text to audio, then you can also find that all model. If you wanted to find based on libraries that what are the libraries data sets, you can find from here all the details, language and other things. Also, we can filter from uh, here that what filtering we wanted to do based on sorting we can do or we can try to find if you wanted to find that model provided by Microsoft, then we can go and find with Microsoft and then it will list all the models and data set provided by Microsoft for open source purpose. Uh, these are the five models, five, three, five, four models. And then we can see that different models for videos and other things provided. Apart from that, there are data sets provided uh, for your testing and use purpose. Similar thing, if you wanted to see that, okay, what are the models provided on Meta, we can go and find our Meta Lama and billions of uh, instruct models so 70 billion models we can go and find and we can go details wise from here if you wanted to see more details we can go for that models we can file the version and other things all the community supports we can do so these are that um, uh, more details from community what are the different pull requests has been raised we can go in more details for that community support right so we can go and find a lot of different details for that for this model. Let's go for data sets. And if we go for data sets, if you wanted to see that, okay, I'm hugging face, TB, fine match, or any other data sets, if you wanted to use, then we can see all the details of the data sets that how many rows are there and for what purpose it is being used, right? Mathematical content, this, this is data sets for mathematical content. So similar to if you wanted to see any other details, then we can go back to data sets and then we can find that chat GPT prompts related data sets or if you wanted to find that different data sets related to your use case, you can go and find, right? So let's see this hugging face provides this fine web data sets, which is data sets for collection of data from web uh, that is they have scrubbed like real tokens and other things. So that's that's great because if we as a developer, we wanted to go and build these data sets with a 24 billion records, that will take a huge time, huge money, right? So we, we can use these data sets, this pre-trained model, and you can do whatever you want to do and focus on your use cases. As we talked about that, this provide spaces, you can create your own space host, uh, collaborate with people for your demo purpose, what you are doing or what not, right? So if you see that, these are the some of the spaces you can go and figure out what is happening on that piece in spaces, all the details so that it is great for collaboration purpose. Of course, we can go for docs and we can see that all the document related the libraries and other things for data sets and other things. Or we can talk with any community related things where we can join conversation, ask related question or follow some active users also. They provide open source also as an enterprise support. So there are different pricing plan and we can go sign up for free pro account if you wanted to have, if your company wanted to use this one, they provide enterprise hub and influence endpoint and other things. So this is what I wanted to share in this video and we are going to build on this in next video where we are going to talk about Ola Lama and how we can download some of the models from here and use into our local machine.